the stories I cover every day are just killer. And I tell people all the time, 95% of people are good, but I can only cover the other 5%. That 5%, that's my 100% of my life. I always said when I don't care anymore, when I'm not crying on my interview anymore, I got to quit. And people say, oh, you can't cry and be objective. Oh, yes, you can. I cry every day. Every day on my beat, I cry. I mean, I don't trust nobody about nothing. We interviewed and he said, my baby's got cancer. Five-year-old daughter, cutest little girl ever. He and his wife do an interview bawling. Our, day, you know, our baby's dying of cancer. I interview the little girl. I'm dying. I mean, it's a heart wrencher. And so we go on TV, and we say she's dying of cancer. Fundraisers, and, you know, they raised about $40,000 for her until I get a tip. And somebody calls me and says, you know, that kid didn't have cancer. I was like, what? I never once thought to ask for the medical records because who lies about a baby having cancer? And the baby wasn't dying, none of it. It was all a lie just so they could buy a big van and go to Disney World. I don't know what all they did with the money. It's all about the suspect and the suspect's rights. And the victims really get left out of the process. That victim never even gets to testify. This happened to me. I was raped or I was beaten or I was choked or I was branded or scarred. Or, you know, they don't even get a say. There's just the process is like, yeah, yeah, you don't matter anymore because it's all about the suspect. I get to let them tell their story. So maybe they don't get to tell it to a jury, anybody, but they can tell it to me. And then at least somebody knows what you went through mattered.